winner of the International Rookie of the Year Award is George Burgess. George, we all know the story now, but could you have imagined all those years ago when you left Sonny Bradford that you were in for the adventure you're going to be in for? <laughs> yeah, um, probably not, to be honest. You know, it's been a bit of a um, whirlwind the last couple of years, um, you know, over the other side of the globe, but it's one that I've really enjoyed and, you know, I've learned a lot in my, in my past few years over there, so it's been a great experience and uh, one I'm looking, you know, to continue. And having the big brothers around and having mum around in Sydney as well, that's been a massive help, presumably. Yeah, mate, it's been great to have um, all the family together uh, this year. And, um, you know, it's been, it's probably been the reason why uh, I've been more comfortable um, in Sydney and uh, it's been great. George, well done. And be careful with this because it is quite heavy. I'm going to let you pick that up with two hands. But George Burgess, Cheers, ladies and gentlemen, Cheers, the international Cheers, rookie Bob. of the year. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the RLIF 2013 International Player of the Year is Sonny Bill Williams of New Zealand and the Sydney Roosters. You've had a a fantastic athletic career. You've turned your hand to so many sports. You've been a world star in so many sports. But this last 12 months, I should imagine, have been pretty special for you. Can you sum them up? Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't say world star, but uh, uh, very blessed to, to have been in you know, quite a few amazing teams um, with, with some amazing players and amazing coaches. So uh, it's just been a blessed year, thank God. But um, you know, I, I accept this award on behalf of you know, my teammates that have obviously put me in a position to play well, um, the coaches and, um, of, of course, my family. some fantastic moments of this Rugby League World Cup and that's one that is right up with them. Congratulations to Sonny Bill William and well done to his New Zealand teammates. No, no, not at all. I couldn't have asked for any more to be fair. Obviously, you know, putting top three with, you know, two cracking players like that, you know, and yeah, it's an honour for me to be put up against them two players and, you know, I was just overwhelmed to, you know, get the invite to dinner with our company. Definitely the best part of the night for, for myself. Just um, like I said after the game, that you know that's what I think I'll miss when I uh, retire is that feeling of um, you know walking off the pitch, knowing that you're giving your all, but knowing that the players respect you, you know, you know that you've got your brothers' respect. And that was definitely by far the best part of the night tonight for me. Uh, you know, I can't remember the last time I cried, but it you know definitely brought you know uh, I was a little bit teary up there just seeing the brothers get up and, and show that respect to. Hopefully, um, like I said to them straight away, I said, you know, one more week, hopefully I can put in another strong performance for the brothers and um, hopefully we can do it for, for the Kiwis. You know, Kieran Foran's tough as nails at stand off, you know, for the Kiwis and Jonathan Furson's, you know, somebody I look up to and try and watch every week I can and, you know, to get in front of them, you know, um, puts a lot of pressure on my team, you know, they've made me probably the player that I am and, you know, I thank them for that. You know, I think that's why I was a little bit emotional at the end there, just knowing that, you know, you don't get a hucker done to you from the from the brothers for no reason if they don't respect you. So, um, but you know, like I said before, straight afterwards, I said, you know, let's go, boys, one more week. It's um, you know, it's it's game on this weekend. You know, we got uh, something special that we can, you know, we can create something special. Um, but we've got to show up, and I'm pretty sure, you know, well, I know that Australia will too.